Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Ture, and as for this Ture's reaction, I'm going to be doing Slater's album later. Finally, after so long, we are here. 500 subscribers, you guys deserve this. Let's go. And like this video, and go ahead and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week, and if you are new to this channel, welcome to the fam. Let's get into this album finally. Finally, uh huh. Been to me. Oh, I'll cut. I'll, I'll put her back in the box. Track one, BFF. I think in my um listening to Slater for the first time, I heard the song. But let's go back and re-listen to it. That's how you start an album. Can I just say I'm so sick of albums starting off so soft and slow. Honey, rev that thing up and let it go. Okay, I remember this chorus. This chorus was good. Excuse me. You know what it reminds me of? Um, If you guys know of a singer named Porcelain Black, or originally Porcelain and the Tramps. It kind of reminds me of that with a little bit of more pop because it's heavy and then it's poppy and I, lo I love that combination. I don't understand why more artists don't do it. It's beautiful. Slater, you got me. Yes, Ooh, I love the sounds of like glass tinking. <laughs> Is that even a word? <laughs> And bottles in the ice like a blizzard Ooh. I love this track uh, if you're gonna open an album that's the way you do it track two my favorite track it already has a heart let's get it Get it! The further in the track, she like slows the song down. <gasps> Ooh, trickery! Ah! Oh. Every single time I I say trickery, just because every single time I I listen to this song, I feel like it's the very first time, and I'm just like into it all over again. Smooth and chill, and it, it just oh oh it oh it does something to my soul. I could die in that song. Okay, <laughs> track three, alone. Get him! Mm, I love when uh, like pop music has sharp points. Oh, you could just hear it in the. See, it's it's just like that. It's poppy, and then there's a dark undertone to it. You know what it sounds like to me a little bit is like throwback r and b in sync vibes i'm getting i really like this track and even though it's busy it's it's necessary Ooh, that, okay okay slater i got you you here you ready i understand Yes. If you didn't guess, we hearten it. Man! <laughs> Dang! That is such a good song. If you haven't listened to that song, go listen to that song. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That song has some teeth. 
Track four, Candy. I thought that was Jeffree Star for a minute there. I really need to do a Jeffree Star reaction. I'm just saying, I really do. I did not know Ay Ayesha Erotica produced stuff as well. So is she a singer and a producer or does she just produce things? Let me know down in the comment section. Confusion. Oh, we going inside now, okay? Um, do I have consent? Like, there's nothing worse than being unsatisfied. Just saying. So, I don't like the song yet. But I feel like it's gonna grow on me. I'm hearting it. Just because the concept of it. <laughs> Track five. Cha cha. Because I got that. Cha ching. Okay. Ah! Well, is there a TikTok of this? There should be. See, this is the this is a song I would play uh when I'm getting into shenanigans and there was a there's a lot of that so um we heart in this I love a uh, <laughs> I like it. I love the electronics of that song. I love it. And sometimes when I listen to like really heavy like uh, music that is electronic, I don't like it. Just because I feel like it's too busy and it's unnecessary, that song was necessary. I right, track six, Devil. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like this song. <laughs> it's that horrible to say. Um, I think it's this. The uh, hold on. Let me. Let me. Call me the snake like I feel like just that original sound should have been there, and all the elect the the synthiness should be taken out of it no reason for it but it's just not hitting as hard as i think it can and when like i get a song like this that is supposed to be devilish and dark and and still staying in her lane of pop i feel like it could have been hit so much harder like i love that beat that mm, mm, like i love that beat I just, I don't like the sense of it. Yeah, like this. Like this part. That would have been perfect during the song. You know what it's reminding me of? Baby, I got your money, got your... Baby, I got your money, Y'all know what song I'm thinking of? That's what it's reminding me of. And I think that's where I'm getting... I want that original beat back and not this one. I think that's what's happening. So Devil's Not Getting a Heart. <laughs> and it's not that it's a bad song. It's not. It's just I feel like I've heard it before. And that's what I want. And... Uh, but this is Slater territory. So like... It's, it's a different landscape. It's track seven, your man. That switch up, that duty, duty, duty. It's like an old school R&B. 
It's like Bill's my Destiny's child, but only Slater. Mm. Hard it. Watch your situation. <laughs> Me. Oh, I love the message of the song. I love the the songwriting. I love mm, I love this entire track. Wreck eight day af. <laughs> I've been having sex with models as well. Indeed. <laughs> By the way, I'm shortening this song just because I'm going to include the link up top for you guys. So you can go click on that to see my first reaction of this song. Um, it's definitely grown on me. Um, but I have an appreciation for the song. It's just not my favorite. Um, would I go searching for it? But, uh, heart. Definitely. Because it, rem it gave me Lady Gaga vibes. Like, I, f I felt it on, like, when she said, motorcycle. Yeah. Lady Gaga vibes. Oh, yes. I love men with piercings, tattoos, and fingernails painted. Psh, knock me out. Like, <laughs> <Tight. laughs> Oh. Remember what I was uh, saying of, is it a figurative uh, motorcycle or are you actually riding him? them like um <laughs> moving on <laughs> hearted it good track uh track 10 celebrity <laughs> that's what every celebrity says i'm a celebrity <sighs> i can't afford to talk like that <laughs> Where are we going with the song? Do they? Because I have not heard Slater on the radio. Do they really play her on the radio? This is how I feel in my room. I just picture me being a celebrity and I'm like, oh God, no autographs, please. Oh, oh, don't look at me. I'm too precious. <laughs> it's Ooh, those echoes though. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Bring in the snaps. We love a good snapage. You know what would be great? That song featuring Jeffree Star. I'm just saying. It would be it would be beautiful. Like I already love the song, but like ugh, it would take it to such a top. It would up the ante, man. Up the ante. Oof. Got it. Oh, we giving that track a heart. Okay. Okay. Seven tattoo. <laughs> Okay, once it hit the chorus, I was in it. Ooh, she went up the octave. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah. I'm so glad, like, that beginning is not coming back. Because that beginning was striking. But... Now, ever since we got over that first uh, chorus, now where she didn't start with that beginning, she started with like something that was kind of poppy and serene. 
Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, that was jarring. <laughs> I really want to get a tattoo. Like, I really want to. Oh, that chorus just brightened up the song. I really, really like that. Um, oh, heart it, of course. All right, track 12, E-Boy featuring That Kid. Never heard of That Kid. Here we are. Ooh, that was, whoa, on the auto tune. Whoa, blast me out of the wall. That's the chorus. I oh, that was like the pre-chorus, but oh, oh, that's that. Mm, how that just slowed down, really. Yeah. Is that that kid? I like it. I really like this collaboration. And I really, I feel like Slater has a voice that is very powerful. And then that kid was like, Bleh. like, <laughs> I like it. I, I think they harmonize very, very well, the song. Oh, just hear that. Just, just listen to it. I love that song. It gets a heart. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of a throwback to like Aaron Carter days. Oh, if anybody knows who that is. Oh, track 13, touch my body, throw me on the floor. I'm sad I'm not in the party mood anymore, but like, oof, oof. I don't think this one's getting a heart. Oh, I just feel like it has the same even beat that I've heard before in songs. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not satisfied with this one at all. <laughs> Too much stuff. Too much stuff going on. Um, no, I just, it's probably because I'm, I've, I feel like I've heard so many songs now that I'm just over it. Um, but no, the touch, my body is not getting touched with a heart. See, see what I did there. Oh, okay. Um, track 14, Ghost with three T's. Three T's. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> I literally got prepared. Stop hurting Slater. Don't make me come in there. God, I hate when other people hurt people. It pisses me off. Yes! That chorus is nice. I think it's a cool effect, the, the echoing that is happening here. But I don't think it's needed here. Oh, just when that chorus comes back in and slides down, you were just the ghost. And then it just, mmm. That is so nice. I wish I could just stay in that forever. <laughs> oh, I have such mixed feelings about this track. Ah! Okay, I understand why there's an echoing now because it's supposed to be like a dream kind of state. Um, I get it now. I get it. 
Do I want to get it? No. But I get it. Yes! Yes! I wish that beat was all throughout the song. Just have the like tr electronics be a little darker. I feel like they're when it's a pop electronic, it's like, mm. but like this is supposed to be that dark. I think that's why I like the chorus so much when it goes down. Um, that to me resembled more of a ghost, the more of a haunting feel than like. Ding, 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 ding. I have mixed feelings. This album, what were the tracks that I kept? <sighs> okay, tracks that I kept. BFF, of course. Mine, alone. Candy. Cha -ching. Your man, Daddy AF. Oh yes, Daddy AF. Um, motorcycle, celebrity, tattoo, e boy, ghost. I'm gonna say ghost just because um, I really, really like the chorus and how it mellowed out in the end. I wish there was parts of that through the album that would have made it more, I think, textured a little bit more. But um, overall, out of 14 tracks, I only didn't like two. So that's a good album. Um, you can't please everybody. And I really, really liked um, what I heard. Uh, the tracks that did not hit, Devil <laughs> and Touch My Body. Um, it might just be because Devil reminded me of another song and then Touch My Body was Mariah. Like, I, I maybe couldn't, like, separate Mariah Carey from this. I don't know. But, um, they just didn't hit as well as I thought. Um, uh, but, yeah. That was my reaction to the album. Uh, let a girl know down in the comment section what songs did you like? What songs did you not like? Did you like the album as a whole? Let a girl know. And uh, like this video if you like uh, my reactions and go ahead and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Um, and if you're new, join the fam. Welcome. It's uh, cool and we always listen to uh, interesting stuff around here. <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys later. Stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, see you guys.